this is like a gallon of milk like two gallons of milk like one here one here like good morning guys it's surgery day it is 6 16. but i'm about to go take a shower i have to take a shower with this and then i'll come back or i'll try to vlog when i come back from my surgery place y'all this surgery center was so nice and clean but every time i try to pick up the phone somebody came was trying to talk to me but i was trying to tell y'all that the IV in my hand hurt it so bad i can barely talk but i been at home for a couple hours i went to the surgery center for 7 30. i got out basically at like two but right now it's 5 44. Oh, and i feel a little better girl i was so i felt so much pressure and i was so out of it even walking to the car when i was finished but I just feel a little nauseous right now. And I just took some nausea medicine. I don't even, I have so much padding on. Like, let me try to unbutton it for y'all. So, and I do have drains in too. So yeah, that's just a little update. I just woke up from my nap. Let me show you time. 8.46. And now I'm eating Cheerios. I really don't even want to eat this. But yeah, I'm eating that because I have to take my antibiotic. And I can't take that on an empty stomach. Like, I don't feel pain for real. I just feel pressure because she wrapped me up so tight, girl. But yeah, that's all I want to come out here and say. I might come back tomorrow because I have a post-op appointment for tomorrow the very next day after surgery so i might vlog that too but i mean i can't even tell what size i am i did ask for a c slash b basically that's what i asked for i asked for mosquito bites very small but this is how they look and this is how I'm marking so don't mind the, the black lines morning guys it's the very next day after surgery it is 7.54. I have a, my post op appointment is for 9. I didn't even notice that I didn't have a bra on. I just assumed I did, but that's probably why she wrapped me up so tight. I guess I'm going to get my bra this morning when I go see her. But quick update, last night, it didn't really end that well. If you don't like this type of stuff, you're going to have to skip. But I literally threw up all the cereal and the antibiotic pill. But I just I just ate two slices of toast and in about an hour, I'm gonna be at her office for my post-op appointment. I'm back from my post-op appointment. I couldn't show y'all how my boobs look because the appointment was like 10 minutes or like less than 10 minutes and she unwrapped me. So I don't have that white stuff like I showed y'all before. She finally put the post-op bra on and I'm just stuffed with like basically like cotton pads they're so small i'm gonna try to show you hopefully y'all could see too and i got two drains i don't know if i said that already but yeah this is how they look so they're really small which is exactly what i wanted y'all my boobs was like this close from sitting in my lap my boobs were so long and saggy they touch my belly button. So just imagine with no bra on, my boobs were literally right here. Literally, that's how long they were. It's giving, can you see what I see? The problem. Yes, I was a F cup and my titties was damn near touching my ankles. She removed three pounds and I still have to wear these drains for six days. My next appointment is next Wednesday, today's Wednesday the 12th and I think she's gonna take out the drains and stuff like that. I just want to show y'all and keep y'all updated. I'm just so happy. Like when she took it off, the first thing I said was like, yes, I got brand new titties. Like stop playing with me. Like I'm just so happy. I love them. Like I'm gonna show y'all. And the girls are sitting as they should be. 
pretty and perky. So I got a bilateral breast reduction with nipple grafting. She did take my nipples completely off, resized, reshaped, lift my boobs, and then put the nipples back on. So she said, I'm not going to be able to breastfeed if I ever have kids. Yeah, that's just a quick update. Now I'm just about to lay down, probably watch some Netflix or something. Good morning. Today is October 13th. It's 7.37. I just woke up. I'm about to eat some of this applesauce. I'm just trying to take my antibiotics. I know y'all been seeing this, this, the same pajama top. Girl, it's been hard, okay? It's been hard. And I'm not the type of person to put on clean clothes and I'm funky. Pain right now is like a four, but throughout the night I was taking half of my um, painkillers. I only took half. I don't take the whole thing. Anytime I need a pain pill, I was breaking in half. I'm still going to show y'all, I'll try to show y'all what I eat and stuff because for the last two days, Tuesday and Wednesday or Tuesday and yesterday, I didn't really eat. I, I eat like crackers and toast just so I could take medicine. Oh, I want to show y'all these too. I forgot. She gave me these. Well, she didn't give them to me. I, I bought them. Um, these go on your legs. So one goes on the right leg. One goes on the left leg. And you just press this little power button. And it's kind of like a blood pressure cuff. But it's really just to prevent blood clots in your legs. I'm supposed to wear it. Anytime I'm laying down in the bed, I'm supposed to be wearing it. But... I took them off last night because I just couldn't. But it's giving like house arrest a little bit. Like no shade. No shade to anybody that's, you know, on house arrest or anything. But like that's what it's giving. But yeah, I'm about to go. That's all I wanted to say. Good morning. Let me see what day it is because I'm going to be honest, I lost track. So I woke up this morning at like 7, I want to say. 7, 8. And now it's 10.37. And I fixed me some food. It looks so good. I fixed two Beyond, which they're vegan. And like a just a scramble. The pain right now, I would say is like a, it's like a three or a four. It's really just pressure. Oh, yesterday I did, I did do like a bird bath. Girl, it was hard. I don't even, I was like, I don't know if I was in denial or like, I just wasn't really like thinking about it until I did it. I could barely lift my arm up to scrub it. But I did my best. I did a little bird bath just to get fresh. I sleep on my side and my stomach, and I can't sleep on either one of those. I have to sleep on my back. It's given Michael Myers. It's given Friday the 13th. Um, I'm not really comfortable on my back, but obviously I'm not about to mess up nothing because I'm uncomfortable. The main things that hurt in the morning is the side where the drains are placed and my neck because I literally sleep sitting upright i bought these for my doctor it's called arnica cream and it smells good i don't know why it's like on a slick it smells like pineapple but i don't know if that is me the second ointment that i have this is only used two i used the arnica and i used this one it's called back you know what i'm not even gonna say the name I'm not gonna embarrass myself but this one is the one that could go close to your incisions or literally on your incision. And to do my bird baths, I still use this. This is what I used three days prior to surgery. One more thing. She sent me home with a log. It's a log and you record your drainage. So I have to record both sides to see how much they're draining each. Um, child, one more thing. I keep saying one more thing, but really one more thing. I don't know why I bought, she told me to buy these, okay? These are called ABD pads, combine pads, whatever pads. I bought the five, <clears throat> five by nine. The girl, these are so small. I had to order eight by tens on Amazon because these are too small. I've never been more grateful to take a shower than I was for today. 612, I just got out the shower, but here's the thing. I, I was able to take a shower, but obviously I cannot get this bra wet and I can't get these pads wet. But I was able to shower from my stomach down. And then after I got off the shower, I just had to be careful and gentle and scrub under my arms. But it feels good to be fresh. And as you can see, I have this gray set on. 
it literally just came like 20 minutes ago. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but like sometimes when I don't be worried about packages coming to my house, they come hella early. But when I'm like looking for the packages, they come hella late. But I just have my cup of blueberries and I'm watching a challenge, y'all. Sometimes I feel like I'd be under a rock because I don't watch cable. Like there's no cable in my room. If I don't see promos, like like promo commercials, like ads basically on people's YouTube videos for like new new shows that are coming out, um, I don't know, you know, I don't know about them. I like the challenge, you know, it's fun. This new season is giving a low bland, not gonna lie. I only watched 16 minutes of it, 16 minutes out of an hour. But I don't see no Johnny Bananas. I don't see CT. I don't even think West come on here anymore. But like that's three main like snacks I be looking for. Yeah, girl. I'm just about to watch the challenge. I literally hit my boob on the side of the door. On the side of the door. Like, bruh. You see like that, that side, the side of the door, like the edging. I literally just rubbed up against it. Like, I'm like, bro, you wear glasses, you wear contacts, and you still can't see. Like, that shit hurt it. But thank goodness it don't hurt no more. And um, after I hit it, um, I had to change my bandages anyway, like change all the padding and stuff. So it didn't have like, I didn't see any like bruises or anything. It's just like, I just be doing stuff and it just be blowing me. Like, pay attention. Cause I don't want nothing to happen to these. I literally just got this done. So, but that's just a little rant for y'all, but <clears throat> I should be all right. It's been a few days, y'all. I ain't even gonna cap. It's October 19th, it's Wednesday. I have another post-op appointment today. We're getting the drinks out today. It's been a week. I've been having these drinks in for a week and a day. It's overdue. I think she's gonna take the bolsters off. I think that's what it's called, like the foam that stitched to my nipple. She gon' she should take all Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that shit kinda hurt it a little bit. It didn't hurt for her to take out the drains. Now that I'm raising my arm up, it kinda hurt. Yeah, it was quick. It was moving so fast, girl, it's 5.30. I know they ready to, they ready to go. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, okay? Go easy on me. Word to my sister then. I was scary Mary and I did not ask to record the drain part. I should took the drains out and she took the bolsters off my nipples. When she took the drains out, I was like anticipating pain. She was like, girl, it's not going to hurt. Like, I was like, oh, that didn't even hurt. She was like, yeah, that's what they all say. My boobs are giving implants. Now, I do know they're going to drop and stuff, but that's all right. When she took the drains out, it don't hurt, but the area is like sensitive. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I wanted this video to be like TTT, you know, for the girls. I just want to show y'all as my first vlog, like me getting my boobs done because this is something i've been trying to get i've been wanting it forever but i've been actively trying to get this done since 2018 and we're in 2022 so it's been a long time coming i'm happy with the results like i was saying my camera cut off the queen was still talking anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you like comment and subscribe 